la cathedral a brûlé hier soir. The cathedral burned yesterday. French students at the University of Tennessee anticipate that will be the first thing their professors say in class tomorrow. This is firefighters in Paris worked into the night to contain a catastrophic fire at the historic Notre Dame Cathedral. This is a live look at the cathedral right now. It is five o'clock in the morning in France. The cathedral has been standing as an icon in Paris since the 12th century. Now the French president is vowing to rebuild that church. People around the world are still trying to grasp how much history may have been lost in that fire. And that includes people here in Knoxville who, like so many others, have special connections to that cathedral. WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith shares their stories and the latest on this historic fire. Shannon. Robin, fire is now contained at the nearly 900-year-old church site. This after flames collapsed the cathedral spire and burned a large part of the roof. As people heard the news today in Knoxville, it took them back to seeing Notre Dame in person and why this fire is so devastating. When Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris started to burn, it didn't seem real. And the first thing that happens is denial. You look, no. And the Parisians are going, no, no. And they're standing there just like, what? Knoxville Poet Laureate Marilyn Callett spends a lot of time in Paris. She was there during the 2015 terrorist attacks and knows how people there are hurting. How can you not think of 9-11 or, or the Paris attacks? So we look at the rubble and then we think, OK, what, how do we, what, what now? What do we do now? We grieve. Let's not underestimate the blow. She compares Notre Dame to 9-11 because of its prominence as a staple of France, which UT French students note is big. When you see a picture of the Paris landscape, that is going to be one of those monuments there. And it's really sad to see that go. A sadness felt not only by those connected to France. It's extremely sad um, because this church has lasted so long and to see it just like burning, that's a piece of their history. Notre Dame is a nearly 900 year old church. It's truly stood the test of time. It's been through the Crusades, through the World Wars, it's been through the Napoleonic Wars. And now, even with repairs, the Parisian skyline will look a little bit different when Callet goes back this summer. We saw it fall over today, this, this fire of Notre Dame. So what will I be looking at? The president of France is now asking for international help to fundraise enough money to rebuild the Notre Dame Cathedral. Robin. Shannon, thank you. Now, earlier today, Bishop Richard Sticka of the Diocese of Knoxville said he was shocked and disappointed over the Notre Dame fire. He said in part, it is not only a place of worship, but also a symbol of France itself. The Diocese of Knoxville offers prayers and support to our brothers and sisters in France. Bishop Sticka says he plans to send a letter to the Archbishop of Paris offering words of support. Hundreds of Parisians gathered to pray as the cathedral continued to burn tonight. The crowds sang the Hail Mary prayer and Ave Maria while watching smoke rise from the centuries old building. Many Parisians say the city will never be the same. Here is a look at what burned in today's fire. The South Tower scaffolding and most of the roof were destroyed by flames. Now here's a look inside the cathedral after crews extinguished most of the flames. Firefighters managed to save the shell of the stone structure and its two main bell towers from collapse. Crews also tried to rescue religious relics and priceless artwork, but there is no word yet on just how many artifacts were destroyed. We want to turn now to your forecast. Temperatures are going to dip into the 40s tonight. Take a look at our thermometer out on our weather porch. Yeah, big drop from last week, but temperatures are going to be rising throughout the week. Chief Meteorologist yeah. Todd Howe joining us in the Weather Center. It's just a matter of time, right, Todd? Yeah, matter of